2006 and Value Added Tax Act 1996, Mulli Abhibiti Court. So different laws. Yes, less arbitration act, the custom and Bansar and Dujar Sauceti, Madhisata and Dujar Paspana, Mulliken Devani Samita, Hauzari Samita, Balvalika Samand and Dujar Chowatar, just the Income Tax Act, Custom Act, Iker and Dujar Antauna, Inbar Bataran Samand and Dujar Tirpana, Vidut Pradikaran and Dujar Exalis. These are the different laws. Electricity Act 2002, Income Tax in 2002, Electricity Act 1992. And Value Added Tax Act 1996, Arbitration Act 1999, Custom Act 2007. These are the different laws which are directly and indirectly concerned with the FDI in Nepal. Eainaru Pratakshi or Pratishuma Nepal ko FDI Sama Samun Bicha. These are laws which are concerned with the FDI in Nepal. So regulating laws are just. And the next one is that yes, regulatory authorities and bodies. There are different regulatory unauthorized bodies to govern FDI in Nepal. Nepal ma FDI govern gonna be in the agency. These bodies are, for example, in a simple way, if the investor wanted to invest the money in tourism area, that is a governing limit, a governing authority can be tourism board under the Ministry of the Ministry of the so, uh, tourism about Pariton Mantrale and the Pariton board. So there is different area under, under the communication, Sansar Mantrale and the, the uh, regulatory body. Those the investor wanted to invest the money in a, in a area of the communication. Communication area may invest in the area of the Sansar Mantrale and the regulatory authority for permission approval. So that's why regulatory authorities are Department of the Industry, Udyuk Biba, Industry and Investment Promotion Bout, Udyukra. Lagani Samandi Samardan Board, so we have investment board. We have investment board is established under the Investment Board Act 2013. Lagani Samandi and Dujati Ron Trigger. Sir, mute bio. Yes, sorry. If bank and financial institution are investment, man, see bank and financial institution. Ma Invest Ganatani, investor for Hopma. Those the investors who are wanted to invest the money in the areas of bank and financial institution, that's regulatory authority is NRB, Nepal Rasta Bank. Because for the foreign investment industry, Department of Industry and the NRB is an important authority, important regulatory body. So investment for Hopma, so the Duke Vivagra, Rasta Bank was anybody to come nearly. Yes, they are they're required to take the approval, approval in the process. So that's why NRB, Central Bank, Nepal Rasta Bank, Insurance Boat, Insurance Boat, Bima Samsa, and the Nepal Civil Aviation Authority. And if they, any investor wanted to invest in the areas of the as a civil aviation, see aviation sanga someone sector ma invest gana chance of they require the approval from the Nepal Civil Aviation Authority, Nepal Telecommunication Authority, Ministry of the Environment, any foreign individuals or any company corporate entity can and they could invest in Nepal and there are no restrictions based on the national IT. No restrictions on the basis of the national IT and caste and on the basis of the their religion, religion, gender, there is no discrimination on the basis of these status. So that's why, yes, there is no restriction on, on the basis of the nationality and the individuals and the countries investor could invest the money in Nepal. So these are the regulatory authority. Nepal Indus Department of the Industry, Nepal, Industry and Investment Board, Investment Board, NRB, Nepal Rastra Bank, Civil Aviation Authority, Nepal Telecommunication, Ministry of the Environment. Different regulatory bodies are there. This regulatory body governs to the on the basis of nature of the company. On the basis of the nature of the company, they invest the money. Company ko nature ko adharma, you regulatory body only govern person for the FDI in Nepal. So these are the regulatory authority to yes, to regulate the uh, different companies and foreign investment in Nepal. And the next one is that yes, a minimum capital. How much capital is required? Yes, minimum capital simple word. Those are the individuals who want to invest the money in Nepal. It requires the five crore. It means that the fifty thousand US dollar. Nepal Makuni does the company or the individuals who want to establish the company in Nepal. Nepal Makasili Kuni individually a company in Nepal ma company established on the Those who wanted to establish incorporate the promote the company, one individual, one promoter requires the fifty thousand US dollar. It is if we convert this fifty thousand US dollar in Nepal, 
in Nepali NRP. It uh, comes as a as a five million. It means that the five crore rupees. It's not a big deal. Laga ni garu pas. So, Bidesi investor in Nepal ma company establish kare pas. Garu ah, edi garna cha hai bani. Yes, five million. It means that five crore rupees aap se pasha. It is fifty thousand US dollar is necessary and essential. Unhi Bidesi promoter le ek jana promoter le invest garna cha hai bani. Ek jana bara bara. Invest so that's why the minimum capital requirement for the foreign investment is like 30. Yes, it means the 50,000 US dollar. They have to invest the money in Nepal. So that's why the investor will have to purchase share equivalent to this amount as well. They could equivalent to this share, they could also invest the money. So the invest by establishing any contract office and the lading office. So yes, the, this does not apply in the contract in Legend Office. Legend the contract office full not legend refers to contract office new. Just so called branch the legend office or the contract office full not like pass crore hours equipment. So that's why for the legend and the contract office no necessarily of the five crore. So that's why minimum capital for the foreign investor it requires the fifty thousand for the per promoter. For a promoter like. So that's why the fifty thousand dollar is important for the foreign individuals though to promoters who wanted to invest the money in Nepal. So fifty thousand dollar if we convert in Nepal, it comes into a five crore, five crore rupee, exana promoter legani This is the minimum cap. And the sectors for investor invest in Nepal. What are the different sectors? Those the foreign investor want to invest the money. Yes, manufacturing sector, yes, the min as a mining industries. Energy industries and the tourism sector, agriculture uh, and the different communication sector and IT, information and technology. These are the areas the foreign investor could invest the money. But there is some restriction where the foreign investor could not invest the money. The restrictions are two sector ma foreign investor lagani gana sakai area rupanicha. So that's why, yes, manufacturing industry, mining industry, energy industry, agriculture. Tourism, these are the area for an investor could invest the money, these areas, but there are certain restrictions. For example, the in a beauty parlor and the barber shop and the uh, kinds of the cottage industry, uh, a small type of the local, say, local, uh, sunny house in a restaurant, they could not invest. Sano pity type who would do or money logani gana sagri. For example, a beauty parlor, barber shop, uh, cottage industry, they, they, there is a restriction to them to invest the money. So some areas are there in a wider area they could invest the money. For example, in a manufacturing industry, manufacturing may be uh, investing, maybe the our and uh, maybe the a kind of the the production of the clothes and the buses and the different vehicles. It's manufacturing industry they could invest and mining industry as well, as well they could invest and energy industry as solar and the wind, coal, the gas and the biogas and the petrol as a fuel and gas. These are the areas. They could invest the money. So in an energy industry, the foreign investor could also invest the money. For example, energy, energy industries are the hydropower and the wind and solar companies and the coal, well, and fuel and any gas companies. In these companies, foreign investor could invest. So that's why energy area, manufacturing, and the mining industries are the area they could invest the money in Nepal. These are the areas they could invest. And next one is the agriculture industry, yes. It's a farming uh, as a kind of the nursery business, and farming, animal farming, and the nursery business, and plantation, and agro farming. These are the various areas in the agriculture sector as well. The foreigner could invest the money in Nepal. Agriculture sector of any foreigner could also invest the money in Nepal. Really, agricultural sector of any invest in Nepal. These are the different areas, for example, farming, and a kind of the nursery business, and the tea garden, and the coffee. And the tea and coffee and different agricultural sector and they could also invest money. So in animal farming and plantation and fruits and different uh, uh, garden of the fruits and trees of the fruits in these areas, they could also invest the money. So that's why in agriculture sector as well, this is the areas of the foreign investor. Foreign investor in Nepal, ma, agricultural sector, ma, pani, lagani ka, na, sa, sa, sa. these are the areas to put, they could also invest the money in the agricultural sector as well. This one and the next one is a tourism industry. Yes, in the tourism industry, as a hotel and a tourism residence, resort, restaurant, and the healing center, casino, and the, the, the travel agency, 
on the tour operator, trekking and hiking as a homestay, ecological tourism, environment park, wildlife protection, mountain flight. These are the different area and so hiking, different area, they could also invest them in. These are the tourism area. So the hotel, restaurant, and the resort, uh, and environmental park, wildlife protection, mountain flight operation, hiking, these are the different areas. In these areas, the foreigner could also invest the money. Your area ma, is a tourism sector, ma, sport tourism, and cultural tourism, religious tourism, different types of the tourism. So horse riding, the elephant riding, such kind of mountaineering, and the sightseeing, these are the different areas. In this area, tourism, as a, in the tourism area, in this field, the foreigner could invest the money. You area ma puni, foreigner hardly invest karna sakhsin. So that's why the mining and the, and the tourism area and the agricultural sector, as also the foreigner or foreign investor could invest the money. They could come to establish a new company, also the joint venture or by steps in the contract office. These are the various measures. But they could also establish, they could also establish the fully owned or wholly owned enterprise, wholly owned company they can establish. It is only a matri 100% share of a company established. So the joint venture, they could come and through the contract office or the branch office or the legend office, they could establish in them. So these are the areas. So that's why tourism area as well. The foreign investor could also invest the money in the tourism area. And the next one is that the information and technology IT area, definitely IT part, information and tourism area, information and technological area, communication area, the radio and the television, IT and the cyber and the different digital and printing. And these are the areas where they could also invest the money. So that's why the data processing area and, and the different kinds of the FM establishment, the FM and the radio, television and the newspaper, these are the different areas. So information, uh, technology, and the communication area also. Interested in these industries, foreigners could also invest the money. IT sector, so this is another area where the foreigner could also invest the money. And the next one is service sector. Yes, service industry, definitely. There are numbers of the service area for, economic, for the uh, health and the education, hospital, and different schools, and the laboratory as well, and the hospitals, and different film industry, and the different theater, and different uh, a kind of the sports service. These are the different services areas. In the Sebaku sector, so for example, especially when we talk about service, accounts to the and health and the education. Health and education areas are especially concerned with the service area. So that's why they could also invest in a hospital, you know, to establish the hospital, establishment of the different film industry, and the establishment of the different library, and the different hospital, and the photography, and the water electricity. And these are the different areas. In the service sector, they could also invest the money. Actually, in the, under the service sector, these are the different areas where the foreign investor also could invest the money in Nepal. Your service sector ma pani foreign investor le invest karna saksa even so these are the areas and another service sector yes definitely even uh, cargo and uh, veterinary service and the battery chairs and the x-ray machine and the dry cleaning and the courier service publication of the service security advertisement these are the different area these service areas the foreigner and foreign investor could invest them on which is service sector. So that's why in the service sector, tourism sector, agriculture sector, and different you know, different sectors such as uh, energy sector and the in manufacturing, these are the different areas where the foreigner could invest the money in Nepal. You area are much foreigner the service sector for the cargo bio, this was veterinary service bio, spiritual bio. And these are the areas where the foreigner could invest the money. You area much you only log on to Okay, these are the service areas. Yes, definitely health club as an advertisement service, service of the as kind of the advertisement tool, and the news telecast service, and the cinema hall, and the biotech park, business area, geographical park, and geological park. And these are the different area. In the service area, also foreign could also invest the money. You area ma kam gani gari nadi. Nepal ma company establish gana satsa. To a joint venture ma kam gana satsa. So the contract office establishing the contract office. With the establishment of the contract office, they could also invest the money in Nepal. So these are the different area. Now, 
Next is construction area as well. As construction area, as a building, the road, infrastructure development, transmission line, they could also develop. So that's why road and the transmission line, kind of channel and the roadway, railway, different areas are there in the infrastructure area, but the buildings and the development of the new infrastructure and the construction of the new buildings and the drinking water and the supply, these are the different area. In the construction area, they could also invest in money in Nepal. So construction area is another field where the foreign investor could also invest the money in Nepal. So construction area, they could also invest the money. So, but there is the sector's foreigner invest in Nepal where the foreign investors are does not allow. The some areas are there in the construction area, in the tourism area, agriculture, and the mining industry, different industries are there. These areas foreign investor can invest the money. But there are some areas where the foreign investor couldn't invest the money. Yes, these are the some areas where the foreigners are restricted to invest the money. Yes, in Nepal. Yes, in Nepal, Nepal do not allow to the foreign investors to invest the money. And there are certain sectors in Nepal where the foreign investment is restricted. The restricted areas are where they could not invest the money. Nepal ma is sector orusan jaha foreigner lai invest karna kulagi rok lagai kusha. It is the restriction. For example, household and cottage industry. Sano garelura cottage udyo karma they are they are restricted to invest the money. And arms and ammunition industry. Bibina Atia Rutpadan Gani, some of the main based company find in and personal service business such as the barber shop, beauty parlor, tailoring, and the driving train. In a beauty parlor and the barber shop, driving trailering, and the driving training center, they are not allowed to invest the money in Nepal. It's the sector one like restriction got you. And next one is explosive and the gunpowder and gunpowder. When it is to help explosive. Bastur Utpadan Gani industry and company called Lapaidina, radioactive elements related to the industry and the security printing press Mapani Lagani Gana Paidina, automatic energy, chicken farming, fish farming, and the beef farming. These are the different farming they could not have, are, are, they are not allowed to invest the money in Nepal. So, chicken farming, fish farming, beef farming, domestic food production, nitrous and rent, local catering business, and rural tourism. They are. Not allowed to invest the money in these areas, rural tourism, local catering, explosive and gunpowder industry, arm and ammunition industry, beauty parlor, and the tailoring, driving training, and the security printing and different place areas. So buying and selling of the land and houses, except construction businesses, they are restricted to buy and sell of the land and houses in Nepal. Because you like real estate, ma kaam gana they are not allowed. So these are the areas where the foreigner could not invest the money. So that's why, yes, they as buying and selling of the house, they are restricted. But the challenge business and the beauty parlor and local cottage and industry business, the small type of the business, these are the areas where the foreigners are restricted. This area must be logani As we have discussed that, there are service area in the communication IT sector, tourism, and the agriculture and energy, manufacturing, these areas they could invest. But these are the some areas they are restricted to invest the money. They are not allowed to invest the money in these areas. You area must be Lagani Gana Pausina. It is restricted by our law, our legal provision has restricted to them. And there is sectors in Nepal where foreign investors restrict to certain percentages. Yes, somewhere there are some areas, for example, as a as a consultancy business, airlines industry, and financial service, bank and financial institution, telecommunication, and the media. These are the area where certain limitation and certain person will say they should have to be held. If they hold certain portion of the share capital, they are allowed to invest the money. Otherwise, they are not allowed. For example, the first one in a consultancy business, yes, foreigners should have to maximum 51% of the foreign shareholders. Consulting business gana kulagi foreigner ko account na pratishat share holder wai ko unparsa wanda press and second one airline business purpose and 49 percent to the 95 percent 49 to 95 percent sales should have to be holded by the foreigners in the airlines industry. So in Nepal ma airlines bidesi investor le darta gari wale 49 percent to 95 percent they should have to be hold and the next one is financial service bank and financial institution gaga 20 percent to 85 percent. 
the foreign investor want to establish the bank and financial institution in Nepal, it requires 20% to 85% of the share. Unir ko share chain bish de ki 85-85% samma share hold gare ko unpaas. Bank and financial institution gulaagi baas. For the bank and financial institution, as foreign investors should have to hold the 20% to the 85% of the share capital. And the next in a telecommunication, maximum 80%. For example, MCL, there was the 80% share capital of the Chile Sonera. Chile Sonera company ko 80% thiyo, 20% Nepali owner ko thiyo. That's why 80% in the areas of the Chile communication. See, MCL ma lagani garne bela ma, paila, yes, 80% Chile Sonera ko share capital thiyo. So that's why in the Chile communication area, 20%, 80% of the sales should have to be held by the foreign investor. Foreign investor le 80% sale hold gare ko for seven, sir. And next is that, yes, the media sector minimum 25% of the foreign share holding. Foreign share holding say 25% media sector must sign seven. So these are the certain area where if the foreign investor want to invest the money, they should have to be uh, hold the share certain percent of the share. Airlines ma 49 the key to 95%. In the consultancy company, more than 51%. Bank and financial institution 20% to 85%. And they, um, in a telecommunication, 80% shares should have to be held by them. And it is held by them. And in the media sector, 25% foreigners should have to find 25% sales should have to hold it by them. But only 50% share hold on the person. Otherwise, they are not allowed to invest the money in Nepal. So, however, the technology transfer and the technology licensing management and trademark license loan are allowed to in all sectors. And like, Technology transfer gani loan dine bilama say there is no risk. Loan say Junsuke sector ma loan dina sasa. They are allowed to provide the loan in any areas. There is no restriction to provide the loan in any sectors. So that's why these are the sectors they could invest the money in these areas and they could invest the money. There are certain areas where they could invest, but some areas they couldn't invest the money. And there is some restrictions are there in the special type of some special business, for example, the airlines area. A bank and financial institution, telecommunication, media, consultancy business. In these areas, certain restrictions are there. The certain percent sales should have to be held by them. Unile certain percent sales they hold gare kuni parsa. This to always nama matre unile yes share hold gana saksa invest gana saksa. So that's why for the loan purpose there is no restriction in any area. Jinsu ki area ma loan se unile issue gana saksa loan jari gana saksa. And the modes of for investment in Nepal there are different modes. How the foreigners come in Nepal? Yes, as establishing a fully owned subsidiary company. By establishing fully owned subsidiary company, they can invest the money. As a Sahai company fully owned Garera Pani Nepal, Saksan, first one. By establishing a joint venture company. Joint venture, Ansel was a joint venture. Chile Sunera, Nepali Kunis, Mulko, Nepali Kulagani, 21st. So establishing a joint venture company, they could invest the money in Nepal, establishing fully owned subsidiary company, and establishing joint venture company as well. They could come. Second one. And the third one is that the purchasing share of the existing company. Existing company could share purchase garapan, they could invest the money. And third loan investment as well. Loan by invest garapan. So through the joint venture by establishing fully owned company, by the loan investment, by establishing the contract and legend office. And purchasing the certain person share of the existing shareholder of the company, existing share to certain person the own garera, and establish the branch office and the legend office or contract office. Contract office is a kind of the legend as a kind of the legend office. We call it as a contract office. So the branch office, opening of the branch office and contract office, they could also come to into Nepal. Nepal ma contract office for the legend office for the the joint venture, so the fully owned enterprise, they could come in Nepal. So, legend office, as foreign companies are required to open a legend office, a contract office, if they are opening its representative in Nepal, they are only, they only establish representative and representative uh, whole regulates the company in Nepal. So generally, as a recommendation from the ministers are not required. Recommendation obviously for the Namantalego as a Pratinidile a contract or Makam Gurahibinja. So that's why we call it as a legend office, as a contract office. So the branch office, a contract office, they are working in this way. So that's why so the like establishing by establishing legend or contract office with the branch office and the joint venture. So the fully owned companies uh, and by purchasing certain person share capital of the existing company. Existing company could certain practice of share. 
joint venture magara pa will fully new uh, start incorporating the new company fully owned new uh, fully owned by incorporating fully owned enterprise sir company aniko purna rup ma aphno matri samiti rahne gari company establish garayo pani unihale to different ways and more sir there they could establish the company in nepal and there is the process of incorporate the company in nepal yes we have take up of the incorporation of the company yes there is regulatory bodies approval is required especially department of industry is required and the registration for the tax office and the registration of the company private public and branch yes in nepal the foreigner could register private public any branch office branch office khulna sakcha private company khulna sakcha public khulna sakcha and the obtain of the yes that obtain the to require to approval from the nepal rashtra bank the nrb approval is important nepal rashtra bank ko approval se dinu parne huncha for the investment obtain investment approval from the nrb and the register for the tax purpose after establishment of the company company darta bhai sake pachi hami tax ko purpose ma pravesh garchau yes registration for the tax the tax office and the registration as registration as an industry or the department of industry as a udyog group ma उद्योग विभाग में दर्ता कर इंडस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट एंड एनआरबी एप्रुवल इज कंपलसरी फर द फरेन इन्वेस्टमेंट फरेन इन्वेस्ट को राष्ट्र बैंक को स्वीकृति और इंडस्ट्री डिपार्टमेंट को स्वीकृति चाहिए अनिवार्य होंड यस फरेन इन्वेस्टर को हक में एनी कंपनी एप्रुवल अफ दी एस कंपनी सर्टिफिकेट एनी सीटिजन दिटिजनशिप एंड एप्रुवल अफ द गवर्नमेंट ने सरकार को स्वीकृति पाने पर्ने नि स्वीकृति रदेशी नागरिक को हक में तैंको नागरिकता कंपनी को हक में कंपनी दर्ता को प्रमाण पत्र दिज आर द रिक्वायर्ड डॉक्यूमेंट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू इनकॉर्पोरेट द कंपनी इन नेपाल सो सो थ्रो दिस वे दे कुड आल्सो इन्वेस्ट द मनी इन नेपाल एंड यस फॉरेन कंपनी कैन एस्टाब्लिश ब्रांच अफिस एंड कन्ट्रैक्ट अफिस ब्रांच अफिस कन्ट्रैक्ट लेजन अफिस सेम ब्रांच भने पनि लेजन भने पनि कन्ट्रैक्ट अफिस एउटै हो दे कुड एस्टाब्लिश द ब्रांच अफिस इन नेपाल एंड दे कुड एस्टाब्लिश कर फॉर द ब्रांच पर्पस Yes, approval of the regulatory body is required. Yes, a foreign company can also register its branch office in Nepal, undertake the income and production activities within Nepal through establishment of the subsidiary or the joint venture. So the subsidiary company or the joint venture. That's a branch office. It refers to subsidiary company or through the joint venture. They could establish a branch office as a side company or joint venture. Group, a branch office for the such a they could run the company in this way. So that's why contract. Legend branch of is the same in the term. So through the joint venture to establish the subsidiary company, they could run the company in Nepal as well. This is even a company run the nasab. And there is if there is a dispute regarding the foreign investment, there is through the arbitration. This would be settled. So for the arbitration, unsettled rule and ICC rule is applied. Our this to call the bivad for even bivad to samadhan gani upaya jai generally arbitration baad bivad to samadhan kari jai. Madhyastha baad to gani jai arbitration. We have the Arbitration Act 2055, Nepal Ko Madhyastha and Dejar Paspanna Sa 1999. Through this act, the dispute are settled in the FDI for the purpose of the FDI. FDI Ko Agma Se Divad Ko Samadhan Se Arbitration Mat Baata Kari Sa. And for the world widely accepted law is unsettled rule. United Nations as a, as a new United Nations rule regarding the unsettled model for the arbitration. So arbitration Ko Samandi UN Le Banana Ko Unsettled Model Law Sa. To unsettle model law bounds him. Yes, the dispute are settled. So that's why if there is dispute is arise at the time, the unsettled model law ICC rule, International Chamber of Commerce ICC rule and unsettled model is applied. So parties are apply unsettled model and the dispute are settled. For an investment, ko samanda ma worldwide ite all over the world there is an unsettled model law. So this unsettled model law, the arbitration, the chamber is okay, constitutes. Chamber is constituted. So the December, the dispute regarding the invest are investment are settled. Vivaat ko samadhan karne bani ko madhyastha baat arbitration baat karin cha. Arbitration le lag hune kaanun bani ko sahi unsettled model law. Price is rule ho. Yo unsettled model law bani ko sahi. Yun le banana ko madhyastha samadhi banana ko give. So same the rule and legal provision what is mentioned in our Nepal Arbitration Act. The same changes and procedures. To dispute such kinds of dispute, you divide and government drama. Especially arbitration ma, the decision maker after when the buyer about a divide to samadhan garin sa. So where the everything procedures are is the way. This is the model law through which we settle dispute regarding the foreign investment. 
एफटीआई को संबंध में चाहिए अनसिटल मॉडल ला यहाँ ले गूगल में जाने बने बेटा हूँ जब तो अनसिटल मॉडल ला कौन सा है विवाद को समाधान करें जब इन द सिंपल वर्ड वी कुछ से इस आर्बिट्रेशन तो द आर्बिट्रेशन द फॉरेन इन्वेस्टर्स रिगार्डिंग द डिस्प्यूट आर्ट्स चल Yes, these are the procedures and the ways and the methods or the regarding laws and there is certain restrictions, certain ways, uh, fields of the investment and the percentage of the investment and the dispute settlement mechanism regarding the FDI in Nepal. These are the ways. Okay. Yes, Sajala Ethinigaram. Yes, up to now. Any question up to now? Yes, yes, some of So I have to go somewhere. Election by the Janusa. Thank you to you all. Okay. Yes, first I'll download your attendance. Wait for a while. It is the section B. Yes, section B, campaign law. I join. Okay, I'll download your attendance and we'll say the goodbye. Okay, your unsettled model laws actually here. No, say ICC ruled the unsettled model one. Nikki is a corporate lama so they answer arbitration. My yard for move over the side. If there is any chapter in arbitration, yes, you could say. So through the arbitration, the dispute regarding the yes, regarding the foreign investment, we apply this theory. ICC model line arbitration on settled model lies there. So this model we generally we apply these laws to dispute the, to resolve the disputes regarding the foreign investment and the Videshi Lagani Sammanamani arbitration button we bat generally. That is the practice. Okay. Yes, okay, goodbye to you all. Your attendance is already here, and the next day we'll discuss about the topic on the debenture. I mean, debenture is on the next day, okay?